Hey, it's Jake, and the other day I wrote an article for a magazine, and it was all about Facebook marketing, how to sell your products and your services on Facebook. And uh, the magazine got such good feedback from the article, uh, I wanted to go ahead and share it with you too, because you might not be subscribed to that magazine, and maybe you didn't read it. So, uh, good stuff here. So, you know, after I wrote this article, I went to Facebook, and I started seeing, you know, other people that teach... Uh, people how to market on Facebook and you know they were giving some webinars so I attended the webinars to see what they were talking about and you know I, I was I was a little disappointed to find out that the same things that people were talking about Facebook marketing you know five and six years ago when you know Facebook people first started figuring out they could market on Facebook they're talking about the same things the same exact things you know building relationships and you know uh, you know, not being too spammy in your posts, and you know, certainly a lot of what not to do, but not a lot of what to do. You know, building relationships and all the same mumbo jumbo that everybody talks about. And but you know, how do you really do that? And yes, it's it's important, but there are some other things you could do on Facebook that are a lot more important than building relationships, which you know. It's kind of a no-brainer on Facebook. I mean, if you're posting things and you're commenting on other people's posts and you're, you're really engaging people in real conversations, then you're building relationships. I'm talking about marketing your products and services because the alternative to, you know, all the things that people are doing wrong, I guess what pe you know, people are being taught to do is to be social, like we just talked about, build your relationships, talk about things with people, make comments on their pages, and do all the things you would think you would do to be social, and then, you know, peppering in offers, you know, to, for your products or your services and things of that nature. And where you might pick up a couple people here and there because, you know, it's just a numbers thing, it's not as effective. You know, in marketing, you always want to do the least amount of whatever it is for the biggest results. So you want to kind of tweak your marketing to figure out what's going to work the best because you want to, whatever effort you're putting in, it's going to take you the same amount of time to build a relationship it's going to, as it's going to be to do what I'm going to show you how to do. And if this brings in, you know, 10 new clients a month and the other one brings in none, then, you know, your same effort, bigger results. That's what, you know, we try to do in marketing is always tweaking and tweaking and tweaking and tweaking to try to get the same thing to do twice as much work for us, four times as much work for us. So, um, so here's what to do. So the, the most powerful tool, really, you're going to see this, so I'm going to prove it to you. The most powerful tool you can use on Facebook marketing is called Social Proof. Now, Social Proof, let me, let me explain to you what you'll remember, something you'll remember. This is going to bring back some good memories for you probably. But you ever remember when you were a kid, you know, you wanted to wear the same brand of jeans that everyone else was wearing. You wanted to wear the same kind of sneakers everybody else was wearing. You wanted to go to see the same movie everyone else was going to see. Listen to the same music everybody else was into, you know, whoever your peers were. You know, that's, that's social proof. Um, and what did your mother say to you? You know, if Johnny jumps off a bridge, are you going to jump off a bridge? Well, yeah. I mean, unfortunately, that's the way humans are wired as social creatures. You know, we, we tend, most of us, we tend to, to follow the crowd. Of course, you know, you have, your, you have your leaders and you have your trendsetters, but behind them are, you know, all the other people. So, um, not suggesting that I, you know, I'm another person and you're an other person just because we follow the trends or whatever, but that's just the way it is. So, so on Facebook in particular, well, let me tell you, let me tell you another thing too, just to, for, for social proof. You've seen these shopping channels like QVC and the Home Shopping Network and, and channels like that. So even if you don't watch them, you, you know what I'm talking about. You have, uh, you have knowledge of these channels. So, and even on the infomercials, these commercials you see on TV for these, you know, these night lights for the kids or for the, you know, cookware sets and things of that nature where they're very hypey and pitchy. Uh, they used to say at the end of the commercial, call now, operators are standing by. And what these QVC channels you know, because they've got so much money invested in these products in this hour of programming. This is not, you know, just a 30-second spot on television. You know, these people spend big bucks. They, they pay the best marketers, the best copywriters. You know, they have the best of the best so that during that one hour of programming or for whatever period of time, <clears throat> excuse me, they're going to feature that product. 
they need to convert as many people as they can that turn on that television into calling them and giving them their credit card as they possibly can. So everything that they do and everything that they say is very well and very carefully scripted. So what they discovered through testing was that operators are standing by was killing them and for you know a hundred years because they've always said that. And they the other phrase that they used that generated I don't want to say twice as many or three times as many calls, but many, many, many more calls, enough to change the entire industry. And you're going to hear this next time you watch television because now you're paying attention and you'll, you'll hear it. But they changed that phrase to, if lines are busy, please call back. Because if operators are standing by, the social proof there is that nobody's calling because they're standing there waiting for someone to call. However, on the other hand, stands to reason if lines are busy, please call back, you're telling me that so many people are calling that I may not even get through. And that inspires me to want to call. So that's social proof. So, so here's how you can apply that to Facebook. Now, in, in, you know, Facebook, they, they talk about the relationships and all that other stuff, and, and we, just, we spoke about that earlier. But here's what you could pepper in. Don't make offers. Uh, it depends on your business, but I would say for, for most of you, don't make offers. Um, on your Facebook page. Instead, talk about the savings or the offers or the good experiences or just anything that you're currently doing. So you're not standing by waiting to do something. You know, one of the most po one of the more popular posts I see on Facebook, and it's be it, because it's being taught by the gurus, is to say that I'm ready to help the next ten people make their fortunes online, or I'm ready to help the next customer do whatever it is. And, you know, according to the highest paid marketers and people that are making the most money in advertising, according to them, that's not a very good strategy because that's like saying operators are standing by. So what I do myself that works for me, now I can easily make an extra $800, $2,400 a month just by doing this every once in a while. And I'm about, about to share with you what it is. But, but what's even funnier is the strategy I'm, you know, I'm going to show you is so simple that that anybody can do it, even by accident. You know, here's a childhood friend of mine. His name's Dominic, and he remodels kitchens in New Jersey. And he posted, you know, a picture of what he had done. Not that he's sitting around waiting, hoping that someone will pay him to remodel their kitchen. Here's a kitchen that he just remodeled, and he says, "Another happy person, backsplash done." One of, the, one of the first comments he gets is, you know, can I hire you to do my kitchen? You do great work. That's, that's the secret, folks. Social proof. If, if you're sitting, sitting around waiting for your phone to ring, hoping that someone will find value in whatever it is that you have to offer, and you're letting everyone know that you're sitting around waiting for that person or those people to figure out that you're somebody that they should call because, you know, you're valuable, it's, it's not going to happen. If, on the other hand, you're posting about the phone call you just got off of uh, and signed up somebody to do something, or that somebody just made a commission check as a result of you and, and they're taking you out to lunch to celebrate, could have been $12. Uh, you're about to make a phone call to talk to a new client about X, Y, or Z. Uh, you're waiting for a client to call you that's about to give you a big order for your business X, Y, Z. If you talk about what you're currently doing for other people, that is going to be a great source of, show, of social proof. Now, third-party testimonials, testimonials are always the best. Those are gold. So if you, know, if you have people on Facebook that will you know, comment under yours that, yes, you know, I, you know, I used your service and it was great, or, or thanks, for the, it was a great phone call, thanks a lot, but it's really not necessary. I mean, it, it, it's great to have third-party testimonials. Those are the strongest because people would expect you to be a fan of you. But if other people are a fan of you, then that's even better. But, uh, but anyway, that's a, that's a great Facebook marketing strategy. I guarantee you that if, you know, if you're a dry cleaner and you're posting about how Mrs. Jones just came in and picked up you know, the wedding dress that had the wine stain on it that you got out, that's going to get you business. If you uh, post that... that uh, that Mrs. McGillicuddy just came in and, and saved 10% because today's 10% off day, you're going to get new customers and new business. So, uh, so I hope that helps you, and, uh, and that's it for this video.